If you want my body and you think I'm sexy, come on, baby, let me know. I don't know what that was. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and the title of this video is a little provocative, don't you think? If you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, whatever, all of that fun stuff, then you know I'm doing another play! Which you can only see if you live in LA, sorry! But if you live in LA, you should definitely come check it out. Hello, you get to meet me. Not that I'm that great, but I mean, I need friends, come say hi. Anyway, so I'm performing in this amazing play coming up this weekend, actually, so get your tickets now. I'm gonna link the site to get the tickets right here, hopefully if I get this editing right. So check it out, get your tickets, come watch me perform. The cast is amazing, I'm having such a great time at rehearsals. So, maybe I should tell you what the play is. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a great idea. The play is called Hot and Throbbing, and it's written by Pulitzer Prize award-winning Paula Vogel. I just felt like that needed a voice. So, there you go. The play, while it sounds super hot and spicy and provocative, which is what the title is meant to do, is actually about domestic violence and abuse, and the play gets pretty heavy. Um, it's a really sad story, but we lead up to it in a very hot way. And then it's not so hot at the end. But I'm not going to tell you that because you have to come watch it. Or read the play. You know, whatever. I am playing the role of Calvin Lee Dwyer. Calvin is a 16-year-old teenage boy who's angsty all the time. He's a little horny. <laughs> teenager so there's a little parts in the play where I touch myself on stage and it gets really sexy but I'm also kind of nerdy so it's kind of like in a weird awkward funny nerdy sexy way if I can be sexy I try okay that's all that matters now Gary, at the opening of the play we see Calvin's interaction with his sister, Leslie Ann, and it's just a typical teenage relationship. They pick on each other, but they actually really do love each other, but they love annoying each other way more than they actually love each other, if that makes sense. A few days ago, my character Calvin has actually witnessed his father break his mom's ribs. So he feels very protective of his mom. Uh, he feels like it's time to step up and be the man of the house. Meanwhile, all of this is going on, he's actually also scared to death of leaving his mom alone, of confronting his father again, because he's just witnessed for the first time in his life how extremely violent the situation is. We actually partnered with the Good Shepherd Shelter for abused women and children in Los Angeles, and because this play helps shed light on the issues of domestic abuse, we feel like, as actors and as artists, it's kind of our duty to help give back to the community. So we are accepting donations for the Battered Women's Shelter. So if you are in LA, please bring whatever you can. Uh, I think they're asking for feminine hygiene products. They're asking for toilet paper. They're asking uh, for basically any household needs that you would imagine a battered woman and child would need after they've left the very violent home situation. And I want to take this moment also to tell you guys that if you're experiencing anything like this, please speak up, say something, don't be ashamed. Do not be ashamed at all, please. I have seen a few of my friends stay in abusive relationships or try to deal with their abusive family relationships and keep it quiet because they're ashamed of the consequences, they're ashamed of people thinking they're not strong enough to get out of this relationship, they're ashamed that it's even happening to them, and you shouldn't be. It's not your fault at all that this is happening to you and you should not have to endure that. So please, 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 if you're going through any anything like this, please reach out, talk to someone, talk to an adult, talk to a friend, talk to an aunt, an uncle, a teacher, a counselor, anyone, because there are people that are willing to help and there are programs that can help you. I'm also gonna provide a link for the Good Shepherd Shelter right here if you wanna go check out their Facebook page, see how you can get involved, that would be great. Um, everyone needs to do their part, I feel. So yeah, if you're in LA, please come 
check out the play, come say hello, leave a comment below and let me know if you're coming, because that would be great, I'd love to meet you. All right guys, well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please remember to share, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm working on a lot of fun projects that I can't really talk about yet, but I will be able to talk about them soon, which is why I had these bags under my eyes. Because I haven't slept, because I've been working, which is a good thing. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Tumblr, Vine, and subscribe on YouTube. And make sure to hit the like button if you like this. All right, see you guys. Bye.